Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Files app that you could use as a replacement for the Windows File Explorer. So we did a video on this a long time ago uh, before Windows 11, so things have been updated since then. So we're going to show you how this Files app works. So just keep in mind, it's not a replacement for File Explorer, so you could use both or one or the other, so don't worry about it actually replacing your File Explorer if you install it. Alright, so if you go to the website, you'll see that there are two versions here. There's the regular version and the Insider Preview that has early access to new features and improvements. So it may not run as well as the you know final version here, so it's up to you. So I've actually downloaded the Insider Preview Edition and so far it seems to be just fine. So that's up to you. Okay, so here is the regular Windows 11 File Explorer. So when you go to your documents and stuff, you have your right click options. Cut, copy, paste, your toolbar up here. Information down here at the side. You could change your views, of course, from details to list and so on. You could click on the details bar here to see information. You have your search box, uh, navigation, and so on. All right, so here we have the Files app. So you can see it looks really similar. You have your pinned items here. You could right click, you can unpin it from the sidebar. Uh, reorder, check the properties, open a new pane. Then you have some right click options. Then up here at the top, you have options for new file folder, shortcut, and so on. All your cut, copy, and paste items here. Properties, if you want to view the properties of an item here, and it'll actually open it in its own window here. Check the security on it, hashes, details. Like so. Then over here, you have your selection options, select all, invert selection, clear selection, sort options, view options. So this is a little different here. You could just kind of click on the tiles here to change the view. So this column option is kind of nice. If you have various subfolders, it'll just kind of expand on them as you open them like that. Then you can turn on or off show hidden items, show file extensions, and use the adaptive layout if you like. Then you have your path up here, you have your search options. So let's say let's go to pictures here, because I know there's some dog pictures there. Let's search for dog, see how that works. You can see it gives you a little drop down from the search box here. So the search is pretty similar to the Windows search. And you can right click on the items, do the same type of things. Okay, and then we have these tags down here, which is kind of nice. So if you want to tag certain files and folders, and then when you come down to the tag, and you click on it, it'll only show you the tagged items that you have related to the specific tag. And then you could also add your own custom tags, which I'll show you in a minute here. Then you have the drive section, network section, if you're having any network connections. Uh, this is nice too. You could have a home button, kind of like your web browser. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the home screen. So the home screen has the quick access, shows you your drives, network locations, recent files. Then you have your tabs like you do in File Explorer. And you click on new tab, it'll take you to home. And you could just drag and drop them if you need to move them around like that. Okay, so now let's go to the settings because this is how you could really customize the app here. So you have your General settings here, if you want to change the date format. Startup settings, this is nice, continue where you left off. Open a new tab, open specific page or pages, kind of like web browser settings. So I have it set to continue where you left off, so let's close it and see what happens here. And it's also running down here in the system tray. So you can see it continued where I left off, so that's nice. Okay, let's go back to the options here. Then we have this dual pane mode. And you could have this be vertical or horizontal. So let's see how that works. So you click on a new tab. So now we have double panes here. So you could have two different windows with your items here. And if we change that to horizontal, then we have it side by side like this. Okay, let's go back to the options here. Uh, we have some widgets, so if you want to turn these on or off, if you want to see them or don't see them. 
right click options here. So you can turn these off if you don't want to use any of these. Okay, let's go to appearance. So we have some themes, default light and dark. You want to change your backdrop here to one of these. Uh, your background color, you could just click on one of these. Or you could change to a custom color right there. Use a background image. Show the tab actions button in the title bar. Then we have some toolbars here. If you want to turn on the uh, home button and show the toolbar or don't show the toolbar. All right, let's go to layout. So sync your layout across directories if you want to have it applied to all your folders. Uh, layout type right there. Sort options. Grouping options. You can change your column information. All right, files and folders. Show hidden items. Show extensions. Show thumbnails. Show checkboxes. If you want to turn that on or off. You could do the single click option for opening files. Open folders in a new tab. Confirmation dialog when deleting items. You could turn that off if you don't want to see that. This is nice too. So if you're always changing file extensions and you don't want to see that pop up telling you that you shouldn't be changing the file extension or that your file may not open, you could turn this off. Selecting files and folders when hovering over them. This is nice too. Double click on a blank space to go up one directory. So we'll come back here. Let's just close these out. So if I want to go up one directory, just double click a blank space. And now I'm up one level there. All right, scroll to previous folder when navigating up. And this is nice too. So calculate folder sizes. So we just did a video on the Windhawk mod that'll let you do this if you want to do it in the regular file explorer, but this will do it too. So if we turn that on, just keep in mind that this can be kind of slow if you're using a folder that has a lot of subfolders because it has to calculate it each time you go into it. So let's see what that does. Let's go back into documents. So now you can see we have the folder sizes here because normally that doesn't show like you could see here. All right, let's go back into settings. Let's turn that off for now. All right, we have some actions. So if you want to have some keyboard shortcuts and you could add your own. And then here's the tags. So here are the default tags. You could edit or delete a tag or create your own tag. Then we have some developer tools you're probably not going to use. Import and export your settings. Have it open up on startup. If you plan on using it all the time, show it in the system tray down here. Then if you want to set it as a default manager, here's an experimental setting. So it may be a little buggy. And then we have the about if you want to see what version you're on. All right, so as you can see, it's very similar to the Windows 11 File Explorer with the way it looks and the options, but it does have a lot more features. So I will put a link in the description where you could download files and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.